Hello everybody, I'm Ricky Smith. Welcome to Faith on Fifth Friday. Protests. We've seen them in the streets and on the news. We've seen the numbers of people, heard the noise of those trying to get their message across, the shouting, the anger, the signs, fists raised in solidarity, and the waves of people. But there once was a protest like no other, and no one even heard it. On July 28, 1917, the first black mass demonstration in the U.S. was held in New York City, right down Fifth Avenue. The Negro Silent Protest Parade, commonly known as the Silent Parade, was a massive march of nearly 10,000 African Americans. For almost two hours, down nearly two miles of a route, not a single participant spoke a word. The only thing heard were footsteps and the sounds of muffled drum beats. Can you imagine? A single row of organizers, clergy, and dignitaries marched in dark suits. A large block of children followed in white to represent innocence. Many of the youngest held hands in surprisingly straight and quiet rows. Behind the children walked row upon row of solemn women, also wearing white. In the rear, the men marched with military precision in dark suits as a sign of mourning. The group was protesting the lack of government protection for blacks against lynching, racial violence, and discrimination. It was also a direct response to the brutality of the East St. Louis race riots. James Weldon Johnson, the man that wrote the lyrics to Lift Every Voice, had this to say about the march. Many persons of the opposite race were seen to brush a tear from their eyes. It seemed that many of these people were having brought home to them for the first time the terrible truths about race, prejudice, and oppression. And imagine all that happened in 1917. Thank you everybody for watching and I appreciate you sharing the video. Don't forget, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Make sure to give us a thumbs up and leave us a comment. My name is Ricky Smith and I'll see you next Friday.